Here's a recap of the most exciting 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 news and gossip from the last week. 90 Day Fiancé Episode 15, which aired on Sunday, is finally giving happy endings to its couples, even though fans initially didn't think that they would end up together. Cara Bass and Guillermo Royer were the first couple to get married. Guillermo is looking forward to owning a home and having kids. As spoilers suggest, Cara is pregnant, as the tell-all will reveal. Meanwhile, wife Arayarno got a sweet surprise from Mohamed Abdelhamed when she was least expecting it. After talking to his mother, who knocked sense into Muhammad about how he should be more accepting of wife, the Egyptian man understood what he did wrong, and apologized to his wife-to-be. With 23 days left until his 90-day visa expires, Muhammad proposed to wife, who said yes to him. Temperature suggested that Emily Bieberly and Kobe Blaze should move to Columbus, Ohio, where many people from Cameroon live. Emily snooped on Kobe's iPad to find out that he was looking for apartments in Columbus, and said that they wouldn't be moving there. Jibra Bell and Miona Bell did move out of his parents' South Dakota home, three days before their wedding. Jibra and Miona have a rented Airbnb in Joshua Tree, which will also double as their wedding venue. Jibra hopes his parents will manage to attend their California wedding, but the chances are slim to nil at the moment. Bilal Haziz and Shaida Sween's prenup agreement discussions seem to have ended, since she did agree to sign the papers. However, Shaida would like to include a clause about her wanting kids before she turns 40, and also expects Bilal to help her open a yoga studio, without seeking any profits. Meanwhile, with 10 days left to wed, Patrick Mendes and Thais Ramon met up with his mom and sister, amid the Brazilian beauty still being unsure about whether she wanted to be married to him. Patrick's secret photos from wedding with ex-wife Patrick may not have wanted to get married to Thais in a Las Vegas chapel because it was something that strippers did, but he did exactly that with his ex-wife in 2017. As a professional weightlifter, Patrick used to spend time at the gym 24-7, which is how he met his first girlfriend, who became his first wife. Patrick's ex was a weightlifter as well, but after he tested positive for HGH and dimethyl testosterone, the scandal ended his career and his relationship. Redditor Erica Worthia came across photos from when Patrick was planning his first wedding, while they were looking for wedding vendors in Las Vegas. One picture shows Patrick looking lovingly at his now ex-wife, with both of them dressed in wedding attire. The second is of Patrick shedding tears as he gets married. Then, there's a third photo, where Patrick can be seen with his family members, elder brother 90 Day Fiancé fan favorite John, younger brother Matthew, and sister, Tiffany. Shaida pokes fun at being called a gold digger Shaida and Bilal's storyline on 90 Day Fiancé started with a prank, and then evolved into a plethora of juicy prenup drama. Shaida wants to have children, but Bilal is not sure if he'll be able to do that. Fans have started to wonder why Shaida is still getting married to Bilal, and if it's because she is a gold digger. She made fun of herself by posting a video of her wearing a crewneck top with the words, Gold Digger Yogi, written on it, and dancing with a small bot from a TikTok filter. To make things more controversial, Shida captioned her video with, when he is not your type, but you got a studio bill to pay.
90 Day Fiancé Celeb Shaida later clarified that the video was only intended as a joke. Miona launches controversial beauty company Miona created a beauty page on Instagram called at M.I. on A Beauty, before she debuted on 90 Day Fiancé Season 9. On the show, Miona revealed that she was a professional makeup artist, and fans appreciated her looks, as well as her many wigs, which have now become a signature for her. Seeing the popularity of her ponytails, Miona has now launched Miona Beauty officially. It's a website where fans can purchase her makeup brush kit for $68, and six different kinds of ponytails for $49 each. However, similar to glam reality star Yara Zaya, who was accused of dropshipping, Miona seems to have slapped her name on cheaply made Chinese makeup products from Alibaba. Sources, you, Erica Worthia, Reddit, Shaida Sween, TikTok, Miona Beauty, Instagram.